India is fast emerging as the biggest market for all the manufacturers of the world. Indian leather and leather product sectors gain greater importance as they are significant foreign exchange earners and employment providers. In order to meet the changing demands and trends, the leather and leather product industry needs new materials, effective technologies and modern production systems. New generation of uh, technologies for conversion of raw hide or skin into leather and leather into products would primarily be influenced by four factors, which will be focused on water saving, energy saving, material saving, and of course, they need to have a total life cycle analysis. To enable the industry to meet the technological and product requirements, CSIR CLRI has been working to develop and provide technologies, designs and systems. The leather and leather product sectors have been under immutable compulsion to fulfill the fashion needs while meeting the environmental and safety requirements. And the bottom line is to minimize the cost. CSIR CLRI has been prognosticating the technology needs well in advance and engage in developmental research to fruiting the technologies at appropriate time. The recent future will witness the demand for new materials, specifically non-leather materials, safe and hazard-free products, cost-effective production systems, eco-benign processes and high-value collagen-based products. When I say new generation technologies, in fact, some of them, we are even revisiting the old techniques. But how do we adapt it for the new generation of manufacturing? And that's how many of our technologies have become a new generation technology from the fundamental principles. CSIR CLRI has developed comfort shoes with innovative design and modern materials. National standard for Indian children have been developed. The new sizing system will provide the scope for manufacturing children's shoes with better comfort and fitness. Leather products with improved ergonomic features have been designed. Products from unconventional sources of raw materials have also been developed. The chicken feet skins that are discarded are processed into exotic finished leathers and products with innovative designs. Leather industry needs next generation leather auxiliaries that could enhance the performance aspects of the leather, including safety and economics. An integrated bioprocess of pre-tanning using enzymes has been developed. The discharge of chromium, the king of tanning agents, is a serious concern. Waterless chrome tanning, a new path-breaking technology which has been transferred to about 70 units in India, could provide a comprehensive solution to the problem of chromium, apart from dispensing the use of common salt. Electro-oxidation-based technology for treatment and reuse of sectional streams has been developed. This could enable the leather industry achieving zero waste water discharge in a cost-effective manner. The technological solutions such as secured landfill, advanced oxidation and generation of biogas from solid wastes could provide ample scope for the industry to meet the environmental norms along with reduction in environmental cost. CSIR CLRI is contemplating to undertake game-changing research of development of artificial skin. The availability of appropriate, feasible and effective technologies is the key for the growth and sustainability of the leather and leather product industries. In the coming years, it is crucial for the industry to work in close collaboration with CSIR CLRI to exploit all the opportunities that are latent beneath the risks. The organic linkage with the industry and academia that CLRI enjoys since its inception is the principal strength of the institute. Many of our technologies, we are focusing towards sustainable manufacture so that this industry could employ large section of weaker section people. CLRI will do better today than yesterday and forever 
in the pursuit of development of next generation technologies and products.